Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here from Awesome Sauce Films, commentating a nice game of Gears of War 3 Beta, uh, going 15 and 1 actually in this one. One of my best games I've ever done. Actually, no, not even one of my best games. It is my best game I've ever done on the Beta. Which, I mean, I, it's really good to go 15 and 1, and for those of you that aren't used to playing Gears of War, it's not like Call of Duty where, say if you got a score in Gears of War that was like 11 and 2, that's really good, but whereas I know in like say Call of Duty, that's like that's good, but it's not like amazing. There there really is like a fine line difference between Call of Duty and this. So if you're not used to gameplay from Gears of War, just understand 15 and one is phenomenal. Especially that's out of 45 kills. So I mean I got one third of the team's kills. But uh, regardless of all that, you know, just kind of formalities, basically one thing that I like doing a lot in this video you'll quickly see is I like using the one-shot shotgun a lot, or the sawed-off shotgun as it's called, and uh, it's kind of controversial because I know a lot of people still like using the Nasher, which is the original shotgun, like eight bullets, seven bullets, and a cartridge. This only has one bullet, so it kind of, I don't know, it means that you have to uh, really like choose your shot wisely, but you also, one thing that brings it down is you have to get really close to the enemy to hit him. So, whereas, even though it has increased damage, you have to get so close that sometimes it's not even worth it. But, uh, for me, I just, I personally prefer it over it, and obviously it works for me in this gameplay. So, judging by that, I'd also like to spend some time kind of just talking about all the new things in Gears of War 3, the new weapons specifically, and uh, I'm actually really satisfied. I like how there's a lot more options, a lot more choices, and just because one thing's not for everyone, at least, you know, you can kind of find your own little niche in Gears of War. Like, uh, for instance, for me, I've noticed a lot of people don't like using the uh, the regular Lancer anymore. A lot of people have been moving on to the Retro Lancer. I prefer, though, just using the regular Lancer because I just like how it has... Uh, Sorry, increased range and the recoil isn't that bad on it. But a lot of people are using the retro lancer because they feel they'd rather get those extra damage points so that they can like pull off a couple less shots and kill them. But I mean, it's all just preference, and that I think is really cool in and of itself that they have all that creativity. Something that really wasn't there in Gears of War 2. And uh, I've noticed that a lot of games have been doing that, uh, specifically most of the ones, of course, is Call of Duty. Kind of, I, I guess I'll say Call of Duty was the one of the first games to do that, where like. Com almost complete customization of weapons and things like that. And whereas Gears of War may not have that full customization yet, such as attachments and things, I feel like we're getting there. I feel like the community for it is really... it's picking up a lot. I think it's really on its way to kind of just growing and... I don't know. I think it'll turn out to be a great success. And... I mean, overall, in my opinion, I think that Gears of War 3 will be a pilot for many more Gears to come, and I really think that it's it's really going to bridge it to the next games, and uh, it's really going to kind of set the standard for all new games coming out, not only this year, but also the Gears of War franchise. But uh, one thing that I have noticed or have realized with all the, uh, what is it? Oh yeah, in terms of uh, Gears of War with the weapons, is that I've noticed that they haven't really done much difference with the weapons, like in terms of damage and range. Besides uh, adding more ones, I feel like the old ones, they've kind of kept the same in terms of their abilities, and I think that's a really great thing. Because, I mean, for instance, what do I mean? Because I know a lot of people think they want like a brand new game. They don't want a game that's kind of like the same as the old one. But the thing is, I didn't see any problem with Gears of War 2, so I think keeping it the same, or keeping it very very alike to Gears of War 3, I or Gears of War 2, sorry, I feel like that's going to be a big plus because I don't know I didn't think anything was wrong with Gears 2 and the thing with Gears 3 is I feel like the only thing it did was just perfect what Gears of War 2 already had and I feel like a lot of games really 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 messed up on that and uh which games if you want examples Halo Reach it's a great game I love playing it but I mean everyone at the end of the day has to admit it's not Halo. It's not Halo 3. Like, Halo 3, I played for two years straight. Like, I was obsessed with Halo 3. Halo Reach, on the other hand, I hardly ever play anymore. When I do play, I love playing, and I do film it, and I have been uploading some videos of that, but... I mean, it doesn't have the same fan base, doesn't have the same following, because it just, it changed so much, and that's really unfortunate that they did that. And I feel like Gears of War 3, on the other hand, will still keep its backing from Gears of War 2, but it will also take in some new crowd, because it's kind of perfecting an already good thing. And I think that's a good idea, instead of just trying to throw out a new game and trying to change it so much. Because, to be honest, different games sometimes aren't meant for all of those things. They aren't meant to do multiple tasks, they're meant for their original one. So, it seems 
seems like Gears of War 3 kind of nailed that in. And uh, some things that I've also been satisfied with are the new game modes. I don't know if it's going to happen, just kind of my speculation that Guardian is going to be replaced by Capture the Leader completely. Like, I don't think there's going to be a Guardian playlist. If you don't know what that is, it was from Gears of War 2. It was leader-based where you would kill each other until the enemy leader died, and one, or your leader, and once that leader died, that team could not respawn, and the objective was just to exterminate all of them. And whereas Capture the Leader now is you have to down the enemy leader. Everyone can keep respawning as much as they want, and you have to down the enemy leader, take him as a meat shield, and hold him for 30 seconds. Or, uh, you know, they do it to you too, and that's kind of just how you play the game. And it seems as if that may be the new... Uh, that might be the new uh, game mode or the new Guardian. So, I don't know. We'll have to see when the full game comes out. But, uh... Part of me is thinking that's really cool, and part of me is wishing that perhaps they still keep Guardian, because Guardian did have a few little differences that I liked about it. But the thing with Capture the Leader that I do like is it tends to last a lot shorter than did Guardian. Could just be my opinion, and of course it's all luck of the draw, because there's no real time limit on the game. It kind of just lasts as long as it does, but I guess just as a game mode as a whole, it kind of it, it lasts a lot shorter, and to be honest, I kind of like the long game modes. Like I kind of like going into Guardian, knowing that, hey, this match could either be two minutes, or I've had matches of Guardian go up to 25 minutes on Gears of War 2, and those are the best when you're playing with your good friends, and it's just like close battle like that. But regardless of everything, thank you all for watching, and good night. 15-1 uh, gameplay on Gears of War 3. Be sure to check out my channel, Awesome Sauce Films, and thank you all for watching. Good night.